Welcome back. You're watching Business Q&A with me, Bronwyn Seaborn. And today we're taking a look at the investment landscape. And joining me for that is Vimal Chogun, uh, Divisional Executive for Investments at Liberty. Vimal, thanks so much uh, for your time today. So if COVID-19 has taught us anything about investing, it's that you can't plan for everything and volatility is a given. So in that context, uh, what shifts has Liberty seen in the market around investments? Well, look, what we have seen in the market, especially uh, looking at our advisor and policyholder behavior is a lot of them have been de-risking their portfolios. Obviously, the JSE had a very rough, rough ride over the past decade or so. And we've seen a lot of money, a lot of money being switched into income type funds. Um, I mean, whilst that might have helped ride out market volatility, the problem with that is uh, you are stuck in a fairly pedestrian return environment if you keep your funds in that. So uh, what we are finding is that a lot of uh, policyholders, uh, I think when those that are in drawdown, they are finding it quite difficult to come through, especially with inflation. Um, but be that as it may, they still continue investing in these income funds. So yes, what we have seen a lot of, a lot of people de-risking their portfolios. They're not willing to take the volatility in the market. Okay, so de-risking the name of the game. How has that then informed how Liberty uh, positions itself in the market? Well, I mean, it, that is, uh, I mean, it's quite a challenge because um, on the one hand, you can understand, uh, you know, with hindsight that it wasn't a bad decision to make uh, because you've ridden out the, the volatility. But if you got in at the wrong time or if you had invested in, say, a balanced portfolio uh, because you are in it for the long term, um, you might have missed out on those big ups that we could have had. I mean, as an example, take what happened at COVID last year. If a lot of people or if people had invested at the end of March last year, they would have had fairly decent returns by now. But if you continued staying in income, income type funds or investing in those sort of portfolios, you'd have still come out with a 6 to 7% return. So what Liberty has been doing, we've been spending a lot of time trying to understand uh, customer behavior, advisor behavior. And we have worked quite hard at... Uh, our advice models and our advice processes, the conversation points, so that when advisors chat with their clients, they can have these sort of discussions. Look, this, this is what your liability profile looks like. You need to take on a certain amount of risk. Are you managing your portfolios accordingly? And that's where Liberty has been spending a lot of time. We've also come up with uh, a portfolio set, uh, which talks to the advice model so that, it, so that the two ideas or the two uh, issues are not disconnected. We needed to bring it together. And that's where we spent a lot of time and we've been launching that in the market during the course of this year. Vimal, new world investing is also becoming increasingly popular. Uh, what's Liberty's response to that? Yeah, I mean, new world investing can mean a whole lot of different things. You know, some people might call it ESG, your environmental, social governance. I think what a lot of people also need to understand with ESG is, um, this is baked into our retirement fund system in South Africa. The regulator talks about these things. When you speak with fund managers, these are the sort of conversations they are having with you, that it's no longer about just looking at the shares on the JSC and say, okay, I like that one or I like that one, but what do you need from a long-term perspective? You know, what makes you comfortable as a person? Um, that we are investing your funds in an appropriate way. So ESG has become quite a broad theme. Um, increasingly, it's becoming uh, more spoken about in South Africa. If you're going to international markets, people talk about it all the time. So that's the one theme in new world investing. The other one is more around the goals-based uh, investing or outcomes-based investing, whatever you want to call it. But as I said earlier, no point investing in a certain way, but it's not tied into an advice process or an advice model. So I think the marrying of those two things is also what's been coming through in the market and Liberty has been playing to that. Okay, so you talk about uh, some of the changing landscape and some of the themes that are coming through and how Liberty's uh, responding to that. But like we said right at the top, it's about managing market volati volatility. And the age-old solution has always been uh, diversification. Uh, where do you stand on that thinking? Is there perhaps other options to manage volatility? Yeah, look, diversification is really, really, really important. Um, you know, when you look at returns from different sectors over different calendar years or even over a rolling 12-month, 36-month period, um, you know, different asset class top, uh, pops up at the top of the charts all the time. It's not a constant that equities will always perform. So 
Um, diversification is important. I think a lot of people would have spoken about this. Uh, I think it's Warren Buffett who might have said uh, diversification is the one free lunch you can get. So we certainly believe in diversification in all our portfolios. Uh, we do have uh, diversified asset classes in there. However, diversification can only take you so far because that means that you are investing in the market. What we have been doing in the Liberty environment, and this has been going on for five plus years now, is that we've been taking different solutions to market that allows you to keep that sort of market exposure, that asset class exposure, or the desired uh, outcome that you are looking for, whilst giving you the ability to protect some of the downside. A simple example is something which we call the high watermark guarantee. It allows you to invest where you want to invest but it protects you if the market drops more than 20 percent all right so on the one hand it gives you what you are looking for that sort of exposure on the other end it provides a safety net to you i mean liberty do uh, i mean we do have uh, a whole lot of other features which we take to market each talking to different needs but at the end of the day what we are trying to do is we are trying to give customers and advisors the greatest probability of meeting their financial goals and that's how we think about these different features uh, to control volatility and to target those outcomes well, Vimal, that's a good note to leave it on. Let's leave it there for today. Thanks so much for your time. Vimal Chogun is Divisional Executive for Investments at Liberty. And that's where we leave things for this episode of Business Q&A. But there's lots more to come on Business Day TV, so stay tuned.